I do watch a good amount of television shows. There's so much good out there right now. So many incredible shows out there and actually kind of a wave of new shows about startups, founders and entrepreneurs. So much exciting to watch. A lot of them true stories and some of them fictional, inspired by the life as a founder. Today I'm going to talk about the best startup TV series, my top five. The best shows about building a company and being a founder. This is more about entertainment and motivation. We need that too, but you can actually learn something from these shows too. This is Raw Startup. I'm the founder of Avino, the world's largest wine app and wine community with almost 60 million users all over the world. It's been a long ride and I've watched a lot of TV shows that inspired me on that journey. So we are making a top five of the best startup TV series. And actually a lot of these shows are very, very new. All of them are made in the past 10 years and some of them very, very recent. They say we're in the golden age of television drama. I can tell you that we're definitely in the golden age of startup television drama. So many many amazing shows in the past few years. And thanks to the Raw Startup community on LinkedIn to help me find all these great shows. So this is obviously my personal top five, but in the end we'll change the ranking and do it according to IMDb score instead. So stay tuned for that. Also, I actually made a real life business decision based on something that happened in one of these shows. So stay tuned for that story. Here we go. Let's get that list started. Number five, Breaking Bad. What? Breaking Bad, isn't that about a drug dealer and drug manufacturer? Well, yes it is, but it's most certainly about a startup too. The story is about a high school teacher that gets cancer and needs funding for his cancer treatment. He builds a startup, not really a legal startup, but I tell you, it's a very, very successful startup. You can learn from everything in life, but you have to learn the right thing. And that goes for Breaking Bad too. Just learn the right stuff from this show. Things we can learn from this show are, for example, for instance, on product, that it's key to build an incredible, incredible product. Branding, he teaches us branding. He has the drugs in a specific color, so people recognize the quality of his product. We learn some branding. And obviously something that occurs a lot in a startup, how to solve problems. In this show, he gets into a lot of trouble and he is incredibly good at solving those problems. Obviously Breaking Bad is also on this list because it's an incredible show. One of the best shows ever made. Before we move to the next one, here's some bonus info. Did you know there's actually a Walter White lookalike on TikTok and he's pretty funny. Number four, super pumped, the battle for Uber. And this was a close call. Three and four came out almost even for me. Both incredibly good shows. This is the brand new show about Uber. It just released a few months ago. It's very, very good. It starts a little bit slow, but then it builds up and becomes really, really interesting. Uber founder Travis Kalanick is not your average founder. First of all, he's not really the founder, but he definitely built this company, but he's not like everyone else. He is a force of nature. His behavior is generally horrible. They have a culture of winning at any cost. A winning culture is fantastic. Winning at any, literally any cost, is less good. And when they say winning at all costs, they mean it. That includes doing things that will put you in prison, put you behind bars. And that just won't fly for a startup, you know, or any company for that matter. I like how he rallies to troops. I like how he makes things happen. But if you see everything as a fight, everything turns into a fight. And before you know it, the company is at war with everybody. I think Uber and Travis would have gone a lot further if they didn't have to fight everybody and fight everybody at the same time. I think they just fought too many battles and they lost markets because they had to fight everybody. The show is very, very entertaining, especially if you followed the Uber story like I did back in the day. And the crazy thing is that most of it's actually true. You think it's impossible that so many things happen to one company, but actually it did. We can't say for sure about the small stuff, but we know that the big stuff actually happened. It's actually mind-blowing that so many things happen. I would say that those years at Uber were not exactly boring. Number three, We Crashed. The story about Adam Newman and WeWork. Again, not a boring story. I actually did a video about this story some time ago. So make sure you check that out. Subscribe to the channel. A lot of good stuff here. One interesting observation here is that there's a bit of contrast here. You go from Travis at Uber, like a hardcore wartime general, to Adam Newman, who's a bit of a hippie that grew up at a kibbutz. When you look at these two guys in the distance, it looks like they're almost opposite. Obviously, they do have things in common too, but if you look at their background, they couldn't be more different. This show is incredibly good. And like I said, it was a bit of a toss up for the third spot between Uber and We Crashed. Jared Leto does a great job as Adam Newman, and I think Anne Hathaway does an even better job as the super hippie wife, Rebecca. 
highly recommended and lots of drama. Number two, Halt and Catch Fire. This is quite a special show, not as famous as the others, but really a fantastic show. We are in the early 80s when the first personal computers start hitting the market. We're following a team that leave a big tech corp to jump out and build their own PC. It is fictional, but it's set in Texas, one of the Silicon Prairie areas, which played a big role in the early days of building PCs. It's a fascinating story and a look into a world that was much more hostile to startups than it is today. So well made and actually beautiful in many ways. With Lee Pace as the crazy founder and also Carrie Bichet in this particular series, but also in the Uber, does a great job in both shows. Scott McNary is the frosted engineer and Mackenzie Davis is the talented developer. Both do a fantastic job. Highly recommended shows that gives you a peek behind the scenes of the one of the first tech booms. You should definitely watch it. Good, before we get to number one, I wanted to mention one show that was close to making the list but didn't quite make it. It's the dropout about the Theranos scandal, something that's been covered pretty well by now. It is a good show, doesn't make my top five, but you should definitely watch it. And here we are. Number one, Silicon Valley. As some of you might have guessed it already, I do consider Silicon Valley one of the best shows ever made. Not just within startup, just one of the best shows ever made, period. It is insanely funny. Now, I said there was a personal connection to one of the shows, that I made a business decision based on one of the shows, and that was actually Silicon Valley. Back in 2015, we were in San Francisco looking for a new office. We had a small office, we needed something bigger. I'd fallen in love with this smaller building called the Flatiron Building in San Francisco. Small, old, beautiful building. The problem was, I just couldn't close the deal on the lease. We kept negotiating and it just didn't work. I'd pretty much given up on this lease. Then one night, I'm sitting down at home. I was gonna watch Silicon Valley. It was season two, episode seven. What happens? The show opens with this particular building. The building that I'd been looking for and wanting to get into. I thought, this is a sign from the Silicon Valley gods. We need to get into that office. And we did. We ended up closing the deal. Vivino stayed in that office for many years. All thanks to Silicon Valley. Back to the show. It is so, so funny. Season one is a little bit slow, but actually it feels like the show finds itself in season two. And season two is even better. There are so many funny stories in this show that I could talk for hours. Like the Des Comas, which is a joke in the show, but turns into a real tequila. You should guess in the comments what Tres Comas means. Another incredible story is when one of the billionaires on the show says that he's embarrassed by only having a Maserati. Billionaires cannot have cars with doors that go like this. Billionaires have cars with doors like this. Or even better, like this. I bet you didn't know that. Again, so many funny and crazy stories, you wouldn't believe it. The thing is, this show gets really close to reality. I know people in Silicon Valley that can't watch it because it gets too close to the truth. And here we are, here's the list, and we're not quite done yet. Let's try and order it by the IMDb score and see where we end up. Well, not that much. I guess my taste matches IMDb really well. The only thing that happens is actually Breaking Bad goes from number five to number one, and everyone else moves one down. So here you have the list, including the IMDb scores. As you can tell, high scores, these are all really good shows. If you want more content just like this, please consider pressing like and subscribe, and you won't miss any future videos. Thank you very much for watching Raw Startup. Now stop watching, go build something.